Our next inductee tonight, Ed Pudelik, football and baseball, 1946 to 1949. Ed found his way to see you after he was drafted into the U.S. Army out of high school. He served two years in Europe where he began his tour shortly after D-Day in 1944. Ed, we know you're here with us in spirit tonight, and we want to thank you for your service. Ed followed his brother's John's footsteps, who, uh, John, by the way, the owner of the sink on the hill. I think you guys know where that is. And he came to see you following him. Ed played football and baseball for the Buffs at 6 foot 195. Back in the day, he was known as a big man who made big plays during his CU career. He caught 24 passes for 503 yards and nine touchdowns. The first player in school history to average over 20 yards per catch. His nine touchdowns set a school record that stood for just four years but would remain the second most for 41 years. It's still in the top 20. He was a pitcher on the CU baseball team. Known for his fastball, he pitched complete games in a win against Iowa State in 1949, striking out six in a 6-4 upset that knocked the Cyclones out of the league lead on the next to last day of the season. Ed turned out a contract with the Baltimore Colts to play professional football. Instead, took to being a dairy farmer and worked on the largest privately owned dairy farm in Golden just down the road here, and it was called Eagle Dairy. Ed is unfortunately no longer with us. Passed away in 1999 at the age of 72. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage on behalf of Ed, his uncle, Joe Fry. Thank you very much, Buff Nation. Uh, wow. All I can say is you really picked a great one. He was a great man. Obviously, great ball player. Uh, set some records at CU. Uh, first one uh, to actually have 21 yards per catch and nine receiving touchdowns, two additional touchdowns, one on special teams, one on defense. He played both ways, offensive end, defensive end. Uh, Ed, Ed started out uh, in Denver, uh, DPL school, uh, Denver North High School, Vikings, uh, where he excelled. Also in baseball, he was a pitcher. And from what I understand, uh, Fred Steinmark Sr., many of you have heard that name, uh, told me that Ed was one of the most dominant pitchers he'd ever seen. And I had not really realized that until I met Fred Steinmark Sr. And uh, he mentioned that specifically out of the blue to me that he thought Ed was a, a great pitcher as well. Uh, but anyway, back to football. Uh, yeah, 21 yards a catch, I think by any measure is, is pretty special. And uh, we have a player today, Tony Brown. And I like to consider Ed probably the Tony Brown of his era. Uh, big play guy, speedy, got open, made the catch, scored the touchdown. Uh, he was that type of guy. And anyway, uh, going early, you know, he grew up in Denver, uh, went to, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, went to Denver North. And then, of course, he went to uh, the European theater of World War II. He was part of that great generation that uh, made the world safe. And he, he came back, followed in the footsteps of his older brother, John, who, as Mark mentioned, owned the sink in Boulder and Pudlick's Liquor Store. Many of you from the 70s would remember that. That was John, that was, that was not it. But uh, great family. In fact, some of the families here tonight, uh, Pat Daly, daughter Stephanie, uh, I think Dennis is over there, and uh, hi Dennis. Uh, so that's, that's the Pudlick family. I was the stepson. We also have part of the Fry family. They're over there, my mother came in just this morning, like Mr. George. Uh, on a plane, uh, so she made it. She lives in Las Vegas now. She's, she's probably freezing over there, but uh, she loves Colorado. Anyway, uh, a few other uh, things about Ed. Oh yeah, well after, after his dominant play here at CU, he was offered a contract and uh, he, he kind of thought about it and then turned it down because he was already 
kind of made plans after football. And, you know, he would have liked to have been a pro. He very easily could have been a pro. Uh, but I think he made his career here, and he was more than happy with what happened here. So he got into dairy farming. And he had the, the largest private dairy farm in Colorado at that time, right over there in Golden. Highway 93, it was called Golden Eagle Dairy. Some of you may even remember it. But it was a huge dairy, and he ran it, owned it. Uh, then, then he sold out of that and uh, got into golf course building. And he built Bear Creek Golf Course, uh, which is over there near Morrison Road. And uh, he, uh, he was instrumental in building that golf course. And that was owned by Leo Bradley, another CU alum. Very famous lawyer in Golden. Uh, Leo Bradley was the reason uh, he met my mother. Uh, my mother was a paralegal in Leo's uh, law firm. And uh, Big Strap and Ed came in, saw this nice looking young lady who was a paralegal there. And uh, the rest was love love story from there. So uh, that's how he, how he met my mother. And uh, so then, yeah, so he's, you know, he's getting older, uh, just devoted his life to, uh, you know, playing golf and just being a great family man. And uh, we're just, we're just unbelievably ecstatic. Oh, and another thing, nothing made him happier than uh, the, the, the teams that came along, teams of the 70s. Uh, you know, teams of the 80s, and especially when, when Bill McCartney came along and, and took us to the, to the very top. Nothing made Ed prouder than watching those guys. And uh, he loved Coach Barnett and uh, what he did. So anyway, thank you on behalf of the family, and I'd like to make some personal thank yous. Of course, Mr. Rick George, the director, and, of course, David Platty, without whom this probably never would have happened. Uh, Dave was able to go back in the archives, pull out some of these amazing statistics on, a, on an era when the forward pass was not very sophisticated. I mean, you got to admit, late 40s, it was still run first, pass usually as a last resort. and. Uh, you know, Ed just had a way of getting open and getting into the end zone. Uh, so anyway, Kimberly Orr, fantastic with the Gold Sea Club. Ed loved all the events with the Gold Sea Club. And uh, we just miss him immensely, great man. And uh, I just, from the bottom of my heart, I love, love thank you very much. I appreciate it.